to whom it may concern. This poem knows better than to play with loaded questions unless it's prepared to deal with the answers. So when it asks you how you do it, it's okay to answer honestly. If you've been feeling like you don't know that you're gonna go under because you're in danger. You don't know if you can keep treading water and the tears inside you any longer. This poem has been there. Reaching out for comfort, finding only the chill in the air as the mercury drops, pulling hope over the threshold of despair. This poem has gone looking for the key to the gun cabinet, got lucky and didn't find it. This poem gives a shit. It'll listen for a bit. This poem understands that the trick to defeating our demons is naming them so that we own them and not the reverse. This poem is a blessing born from a curse. This poem has been fed so many venoms so early, so often, that it's become the antibody for them. This poem is going to put you on a pedestal built from every pronoun that's ever failed you. This poem knows how to make Medusa feel beautiful, but it's still making love with the lights off because the shadows are the only mirrors it trusts. This poem contains the names of all those that didn't make it out alive hidden between its lines. Their epitaphs are indented onto high school lockers down gauntlet hallways. This poem goes hunting Rumpelstiltskin. It takes the straws that would break your backs and it spins them into golden possibilities. This poem is a friend of Dorothy's and it's got more courage, heart, and brains than an army of flying monkeys. This poem will never lie to you. It won't tell you that all you have to do to live happily ever after is click your heels together. But this poem is living proof that it gets better. This poem is a hug autographed with tattoos that against all the odds somehow managed to make it from me to you.